Hey, Perry Lau here from PurposeDrivenMastery.com and today I want to talk about discipline. Growing up in China, it was normal for teachers and parents to hit their kids. It was their way of disciplining their kids. Having that fear of physical punishment, I always strive to do well in school, but there are times where I would make mistakes on exams. As a result, my teacher would hit me every time that I make a mistake. There are times where I dressed up in layers knowing that I would get punished just to mitigate the pain. But it's through that early conditioning that I have cultivated discipline through my life. Now I fight for delayed gratification instead of going for the instant gratification of doing something that's pleasurable seconds after I do it. Discipline is the most important attribute that distinguishes between people who are successful and people who are mediocre because that's where your true character comes in when you do something even no one is watching you don't do it for the fans or the coaches you do it for yourself you do it because you're contributing to a higher cause discipline is a skill and it can't be learned and mastered and just like willpower discipline decreases as they progresses it's the strongest in the morning and weakest at night. When dealing with a difficult decision, you could simply ask yourself this powerful yet simple question. Is doing this thing aligned with my value? I'll give you an example. If you value your health and you're trying to lose weight or maintain your weight, and that you might be tempted to eat that chocolate cake, but Asking that question, is eating this chocolate cake aligned with my values? If you truly value health, the answer is no, then you don't do it. That's one way you could cultivate discipline even when it's at its weakest point. Discipline allows you to do the things that might suck during the moment, but you'll be grateful for it because of the delayed gratification. Having discipline doesn't mean you have to suppress your desires, it just means you put the highest priority desire first. And you do that thing that you know that you need to do, regardless of the feeling that you might feel during the moment. What will help you have more discipline is your why, your purpose. If it's strong, then it will help you overcome any challenge that you have. But if it's weak, then you will probably not overcome it. So it starts with having a strong why. If you have any questions about how to cultivate more discipline, please leave a comment below and I love hearing from you all. Till next time, bye.